20 gold to unlearn my talents. I think I'm gonna go for it. This, now th maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm really dumb. But I, I, I really want to try this out. So, a couple things to consider is we could go for improved rend. Um, but I kind of don't want to. I need to... Oh, that's what I put here. I need, I need a weak aura for revenge. That's what I need. But let me look at my build. I think what I have here is going to be okay. Improved rend could do damage. Three, 300 damage over 20 seconds, though. I really just don't get excited about that. I, d I don't think that Arena is going to be like a rot meta. I think I'm going to put five points here. And I think I'm going to keep... I think I'm going to go with this sort of thing. Let me show you what, what we're talking about, guys. This Now, this could be really stupid, and this could be costing me gold for no reason, but... um, I think it could also be kind of nuts. I'm not going to have very much crit chance. But it's going to be okay. Let me show you what I'm thinking. And I'm still technically useful in raid because I am going to take Blood Frenzy. Okay, 38, 38 points in arms. The rest is going to be in prot. Now watch this. This is where things are going to get weird. Um, we're going to put... Tactical Mastery for sure. I think I still want Blood Rage. It's a one minute cooldown. It'll give me 16 Rage though. So I can be a little bit a little bit easier to like generate Rage for like fears and stuff. I think that's better for better than my defense. But we are going to put a couple points in defense. This is where things get freaky. We're actually going to go into Shield Specialization. Which almost gives me like another defensive cooldown, right? So now we have Last Stand. We have improved shield block. Oh, this is also really freaky. We're gonna put three out of three revenge for stunning people in arena. I hope that this, does this work on players or does it not work on players? If it doesn't work on players, then I'm pissed. It does work on players though, right? We're thinking something like 33, 33, five. You could do that, yeah. But we're gonna do improved revenge. And then, in order to get to the next place, we could, we have a variety of options here. We could reduce the cost of Sunder by one. But I think I think increasing your defense by a little might throw off people's like hit rating, right? Disarm? No, you already. Have, it, it's only increasing the duration of disarm by one. I don't think this is going to be that big of a deal. I think defense helps you in a lot of ways, and it helps you like synergize with the parry and block thing. So you actually put two points here. Is my suspicion. Now where are we missing points? Oh no, I did have three out of three Sunder on um, this build. I did. In the build that I was planning, I did have three out of three Sunder. I don't know if I really want that though, but reducing the cost of Sunder is kind of cool because if you, if you Sunder people up, that is a lot of damage. Purple, thanks so much for the T3, man. Big flex for you. This is where the theory crafting comes in. So... I could either bump my defense skill up a lot. And Maxi, thanks so much for the seven months, dude. Big flex for you as well. Though this build is gonna be this build is very kind of freaky. But I'm very curious about it. So Sunder helps against everybody that I Sunder. Defense only really helps against melee. That's the thing. But Sunder helps against everybody that you're up against, right? So if you Sunder somebody five times. You're going to save a total of 15 rage on that. But it does seem kind of... It does seem a little bit intense to... Spend all that... All those talent points on just one ability, right? Whereas defense, it only helps you against melee, but like... If, it, if you take less damage, and if you parry more often and block more often, it means more revenge procs. Armor pen is strong for long fights. It is. But I think... I, I, I kind of want to try defense. 
Like I told you guys, this is a freaky build. Not lifting in the mornings anymore. No, we're get, we're lifting in the afternoon. We're getting right down to gaming. The defense is gonna throw off people's like hit, and it's gonna throw off people's like stuff. So the re the whole like there's a lot of cool stuff going on with, with this build in the defense tree and the prot tree. This is where why you're here. Concussion blow, and look at this. Shield bash gives a 100% chance to silence the target for five seconds. So you have concussion blow, and you have shield bash. So those are two lockdowns. You have last stand to help you out in a bursty meta. You have increased chance to block and generating rage. You have an extra charge of shield block and whenever you block you can stun people with revenge and more defense to, and more and parry to get more revenges. Tactical mastery, more, more rage gen. Silence is five seconds. No, it's, the, the stun is five seconds. The silence is three seconds. Yeah. You have a lot of lockdown, and in a in a in a meta that's very bursty. Now you do lose the crit, and you do lose piercing howl, but you have all of your arms stuff basically, right? You could even drop blood frenzy if you didn't want it. But I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have blood frenzy just for raid, I guess. And you have and I guess I could off tank a little too. And you have all of this defensive power. In a bursty meta. I think this could actually be insane. Maybe maybe I'm insane for thinking this. But I think I think this could be insane. With Sunder you'll have 25 Oh, you're still gonna use Sunder armor. You're, it's just gonna cost 15 rage instead of 12. No, I, I think I think I'm a little crazy for trying this. But like it, it's so crazy it just might work right you don't even have to be in D stance to use concussion blow either yeah I think it'll be good for the start of the season yeah it's it's just it's just so crazy it might work that's the thing yeah so we're gonna try it out we're gonna test it out today, but that's that's the build I'm working with right now. Uh, I just need to like figure out what keybinds I want to use, basically. I did not go improve Sunder though. I I chose not to improve Sunder this time. It's just a lot. It's a lot of points for one ability. You can you can definitely switch to weapons, switch weapons in combat, yeah. I know, I was thinking about that, Adrix. 15 rage saving is, is pretty good, but I don't know. I, I thought I'd rather just have the defense right now, but we can we can do the experiment and then see how it feels, right? I need to I need to like change my keybinds again though. Cause I want I, I need to have like a good bind for revenge now, basically. I'll tell you you go. You go your version? Yeah, you can try that, yeah. I'll play with defense. I'll see how it feels. I think Sunder is going to be good. I think you have multiple good options. But we... I was thinking about this yesterday, man, and I was like, this seems kind of nuts. So I'm going to try it out. You can't use Wreck and Arena, no. 